Hi guys, it's the Mill YouTube here, and tonight we've got Leicester at home. But before we make our way to the den, let's have a look at tonight's opposition. Leicester, managed by Enzo Maresca, that rhymes, currently sit top of the championship table. It seems like they've got their form back after the little dodgy spell they had not too long ago. And of course, we're 20th in the championship, and if we lose tonight and results go against us tonight and tomorrow, then we could be sat in the relegation zone very soon. And to be fair, that doesn't sound like a very unlikely scenario, does it? But anyway, let's get ourselves to SE16, shall we? Come, you Lions. Right then, tough one today, what do you reckon? Um, going on our last two results, if we can't beat Rotherham or Huddersfield, we've got absolutely no chance against um, Leicester. I'm going to go for a 3-0 loss. Come on, you Lions. But then we'd have probably got an earlier train in. As you can see, I arrived at the dead team news. He's out and there's been zero changes from the side that played Huddersfield on Saturday. Not sure about that one. Gaffer, but anyway, my score prediction for tonight, I can see it being really embarrassing tonight, I can't lie. I think we're going to get out last. Four to eight minutes. Could be close to a cricket score tonight, but in that way, but yes, I'm not going to predict a 5 1 loss. But as I said, this time not a couple of nights. Seven minutes gone here. And I've got to say, we have been better than Leicester so far. Started off brightly, surprisingly. Oh, shit! Oh, Thirty minutes gone here, and I've got to say, we are doing well to still be in this game here. We are giving it a good go. That is literally the overhead in the All the pace in the world. It's half time at the dead, little nil, Leicester, nil. I've got to say, I've been very pleasantly surprised so far. We have definitely held our own big game to beat, so put it this way. I don't think my 5 bar prediction could have come in. So moving on to the second half, let's hope we can nick a goal and tag the three points. Come on, guys. Right then, Honeyman's coming off, injured. I run less hairs coming on. Let's see what Romeo can do with more than two minutes. for 90 minutes but I've got to say it's been the holy rock is it? Yes! Oh! Over Femi! Over Femi! Mate, oh, he's done so well to get in that piece in the first place but again, over Femi the final, you know, in the final thirds he can be so poor Oh my word, go on mate! Mate, I've got to say, 66 minutes gone, and the streets will not forget Ryan Longman, the second half performance. Be this time, he's been calling you so far. Game 
Jamie Vardy off. Had a very quiet night. Yes! 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 yes. Oh. Mark Lomotemi is coming off. And he is the return of Brad. Ten minutes to go here, and I've got to say we are dominating this game. We'll be very disappointed if we don't walk out with the three points. Seven minutes, I did not have a weather ref. Or the official, sorry, have plucked that one out. Squeaky bum time is on. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know who's been off the line. I think it was Billy Mitchell. Oh my word, I'm real from Billy. Wow. It's full time at the day. Millwall won. Less than nil. Faith. What is wrong with us? How do we lose to Ron and Huddersfield? Two of the poorest sides in the division that we It is the history of the Millwall. Wow, unreal. What a performance. Wow, best second half performance I've seen from us in a very, very long time. We move on to Cardiff on Saturday. Come on, you guys.